Good afternoon, guys and girls. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more tinkering on the HZ. Ain't she just looking fine? Anyway, I'm going to show you guys a little trick, something that I learnt many years ago. As you can see, we've got all the holes from when I took off this quarter panel off the donor car. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you a little trick that helps a lot when you go to weld these up. All right, so as you can see, we've got some pretty hefty holes here. I'd say they're probably at least around the 10 or 12 mil mark in my spots anyway. And what we have here is just a bit of copper pipe that I've flattened out. And I like to bend these into a 90 degree because I find when they're flat, you end up tend to lose them. And basically what we're going to do with that is, is we're going to sit him and we're going to clamp him into place like that. And what that will do is, is when I go to weld up that hole with the MIG, the weld won't fall back through that hole and it won't make a, a big mess on the back side of the panel that we have to then grind off. So, yeah, I'll show you guys how that works. All right, we're all set up, ready to weld. Here we go. Probably should have actually tested the welder before I started welding the panel, but it was close, just not close enough. So unfortunately the wire speed was a little bit down. Nothing stuck on that. No big blob of weld back there. So that'll linish off pretty easily. And we've still got plenty of weld on this side so we can grind both sides flat and everyone would be none the wiser. And now that we've got that out of the way, I can chuck you back on the time lapse and do the rest of these. Alrighty, so the welding's all finished off. Not the prettiest looking under there. I didn't really do a whole lot of clean up, so welds aren't quite really the best. And obviously the uh, filling up such a large hole, you're always gonna have you know a bit of a daggy looking weld, but I'm not too worried about that. This is what the back side looks like. I did have a little bit of the copper stick in a few spots, but I think that was just because it was getting so hot, it was actually uh, starting to bite into the weld, but that's fine. I mean, you just you got to look at how much is actually penetrating through compared to these spots here where I didn't use any backing. So yeah, that's going to save me a little bit more time. Um, obviously cleaning up inside there, which is always always a good thing. Anyway, I'll uh, dig into those and get all that cleaned up. So I've just finished around the wheel arch there, so that's all come up pretty good. On the inside as well I did. As you can see, nothing really too ugly in there. So that'll all be pretty good. Quite happy with how that's turned out. Also went around the quarter panel and I sort of I got rid of some of the surface rust that it was sort of accumulating. Um, also been welding up a few extra little holes and stuff that sort of need doing. Um, 
welded up the joints through here. There's also another little bit. Where was that? That was inside here. Still need to clean up the backside for that. That was just um, a little piece that got missing uh, when I took it off the donor car. So obviously needed to fill in that gap. But now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to start filling in this aerial hole and I will actually film this and I'll show you guys how I do that. So pretty simple stuff in case you sort of missed it in the time lapse. I started off with a little bit of scrap, put it in from the back side of the panel, traced around it, and then went over to the vise and I cut, you know, the the round section that I needed out of it. So it was close and then I sort of went over to the bench grind, I rounded it off a little bit and then I sort of did the fine tuning with my little uh, roll lock sander. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much where we are now. I used a little magnet just to hold, the, hold it in from the back side. I got one tack on it <clears throat> and then I hammered it up so it was flush. So yeah, that's really the main important thing is to, uh, is to make sure your patch panel is always as flush as possible. So the quarter panel's chucked back on the car and all packed up for the day. That's come up looking all right. Not too bad. I can live with that. I have noticed the uh, the screw that I've got holding the quarter panel on here, it's a bit flogged out, so it's not really doing its job. So I ended up slapping a clamp just up here. And I've noticed it's sort of pulling the quarter panel in just a little bit, which tells me that the weld through here needs to be a little bit more stretched. Um, not a big deal, but you know, I'd rather find it now, but um, yeah, I'm really happy with the rest of the quarter panel so far. So um, yeah, obviously it's uh, it's coming along. Um, quite happy with everything, so yeah. <laughs> Until next time, cheers. <laughs>